everyone, one about here, and welcome back to some more Slime 3K. I haven't played this in a little while, and I figured, yeah, let's let's give it a shot. Let's see how far it's come. They've added passive abilities to different builds, and that sounds fun, interesting to me. Uh, last time I played, I was kind of getting my butt kicked, but maybe this time around, I'll have an easier time of it. Okay, so what do we want to do? Supreme Shotgun, make it rain. Shot, Shotgun, Finance, sure. I only have eight though. I could also get random nails. They're piercing. I think we want to go for targeted. My, this build I believe was specifically dedicated to the idea of uh, targeting enemies and wrecking them. Well, this is a pretty good lineup and let's upgrade the shop. Okay. Now, if I remember right, I pretty much can't do much here. Uh, like damage damage is almost kind of entirely inevitable and it's ooh, shots penetrate the first target sure yeah damage is inevitable and all i have to do is just kind of manage how much i'm taking uh let's see do we want to get the pistol sure oh wait no that's penetration okay so this is a this is a passive ability that we unlock permanently uh for the rest of the run regardless of whether or not we sell the things tied to it so, Slime's abilities pierce through one more target. Does not affect abilities with no penetration limit. To upgrade, collect three level two abilities target, uh, uh, tri uh tagged shots. All right, I mean, that should be easy enough. Let's grab the Scythe Rang, too. I want to see if I can get a, an amount with, uh, let's see, an amount with targeted and see if there's a passive. There it is, dual wielding. Targeted abilities fire a second projectile in the opposite direction. Yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping for. And we also have, like, AoE food. And let's go for the Supreme Shotgun. I could go for the Watermelon Launcher, and that might actually be really good. But uh, I'm already digging this passive system. I think it's exactly what this needed. All right, so we're just going to buy those. Because yeah, I'm trying to max out some of my abilities. I'm not entirely sure if they're going to get, get me anything cool, but they might. But this means I might want to go out of my way to actually grab some of the quote-unquote less useful upgrades that were present in uh, that were present in the pool previously. Also feels like I'm leveling a lot faster, but that might just be a me thing. Okay, I'm just going to lock that one so we can buy it. I think we'll skip the random nails and oh boy, why are there so many attacks? Are these, these guys shooting at me? They are. Okay, let's just buy that. I think we skipped the random nails. We'll just upgrade the shop. Oh, I guess I could have bought something there. Oh well. Every once in a while I go on like a bit of a shooting spree. Uh, let's see. I guess it's probably the assault rifle triggering. Do we want to grab penetration again? Yeah. Okay. Assault rifle, watermelon launcher. Uh, let's see, anything else? No. I got a fair bit. Grab the Scythe Rangs. Do we buy the watermelon? I think I will. Oh, am I doing like a triple shot now? I am. Okay. Then we have Banana Rangs. The reason why I wanted to go for the Banana Rangs is... I want to see what... Uh, I want to see if there's like a food boost. Because there might be a, a specific, like, hey, food items get you this bonus. But I might have to wait before I can actually get that one. We're also running out of slots, so I think I might need to care a bit more. Well, it certainly feels easier, which, you know, I, I don't actually know if I needed this game to be that much easier than, uh, than it was. It definitely was kicking my butt. But a lot of that felt like I just hadn't been grinding enough. So we've got Rocket Launcher. Grab Piercing. Do we upgrade the shop? Yeah. Because we want to get this, this green rate lower. I might as well Gumball. Unfortunately, I'm probably... Well, unfortunately, I'm probably going to try and leave a lot of these Gumball machine upgrades. Upgrades, power-ups... For later once we actually start getting swarmed right now it's not the most helpful and that's oh is that meta progression that might be
it's all random nails. I didn't lock them, that's just normal. I think we'll just wait, we've got plenty of time. I could restock for one, but I don't mind skipping it for now. Because I think we've got all of our basic upgrades right off the bat. Or like all the ones that I was kind of hoping for. Because uh, we only, I only wanted the money shotgun and the... Let's see, if I buy that, they merge together. If I buy that, they merge together. And I gotta be careful here because I only have enough space for a little bit. If I'm, I'm gonna have to go with the assault rifle, looks like is the answer. Because I only have so many slots, so I'm gonna wanna clear some things out. Yeah, because I can't even fit piercing here. Do I keep rolling down? Seems wasteful to me, but whatever. So penetration, three, and then four level ability, four abilities with targeted. Because we might as well grab penetration while we're here, because we want to get that one up. Oh. I'm not actually sure if the penetration passive is really good, considering we've now got even more just passive penetration. I I don't know. I don't I don't actually know. Let's see. Get another watermelon launcher. And yeah, we kind of want to just collect as many things as possible. This also means going heavier on econ if I can, might actually be a really good idea. Previously, I was always just a little bit lazy about it because it didn't seem too necessary to me, but hell no, it, it is necessary. Econ is how you do anything in this game. All right, so where were we at? Do we want to get the Scytherangs? I think, yeah, I think our next focus is Scytherangs and Watermelons. I'd like to get the shotguns, but I think I'm going to have to get rid of... Um, I'm going to have to get rid of the some of my basic guns first, and I want to leave that for a little bit. Grab the watermelon, because that merges it down. So I just have enough space. Because, yeah, we need targeted abilities, fire three projectiles in different directions, upgrade four level three targeted abilities. I wish while highlighting these, it would actually tell me. So that one's targeted, that one's targeted, that one's passive, that's targeted, that's targeted. So really, we just got to get the Scytherang up or the watermelon launcher up, as they both count as, as uh, we got we got some gene tech, gene tech genome, uh, DNA up here, sure. But yeah, we just gotta get one of these two weapons up to maximum. Uh, ooh, that could be a little full, eh, I think it should be fine. As long as we get one more watermelon. We're not going to be two straps, two strap for space. There it is. And we get the two Scytherangs too. That actually gives me a lot of space. So let's buy the shotgun. Okay, I don't, do I need to worry about a big moped man? The answer is actually no. He's not a problem. He looks scary, but he's actually kind of fine. He's got a nice animation too. Okay, uh, banana, right. We were also kind of going banana ranks. We don't need the random nails though. The fact that it is just burying me in random nails is wild, but it makes sense. We still have a 40% chance of getting green upgrades and it's the only green upgrade we have in the pool. Okay. I've got some time, there it is. Let's skip the rocket launcher for now. Much as I'd like to have space for it, this is going to take up one... Yeah, it's going to take up at least three more slots, unless we sell one of the previous ones, which maybe we do. I could actually just sell the pistol at this point to get a rocket launcher. Sure, let's do that. And I've actually got some money, so let's buy the caliper rang. It is a boomerang. I think we'll wait on it. Powerful as it is, it's not exactly what I need right now. Okay, let's just keep grabbing those. So this got a lot easier. Uh, 
which I, you know what? I think it's kind of fine. Giving me more mid run, mid run progression options, progression options beyond just like these are your weapons, and then go for the meta progression. Like having having these passive abilities to potentially pursue makes the game considerably more interesting because you might be incentivized to pick up abilities that you wouldn't normally. Electric shots. Ooh. We're rolling 4% here, which is actually kind of impressive. And also, it feels like the uh, the difficulty curve in this game, or the, the campaign mode in this game, is kind of like a soft tutorial. You know, get up to whatever the max level is. And then... Then the game, the, the true game, begins. I might have to sell the money shotgun. It's okay, we're not using the money shotgun that much. Got two shotguns here. I think I can buy both of them. Yes, I can. We are running low on space though. We are currently trying to max out three different weapons simultaneously and that's probably not the greatest. Unfortunately, my fire rate here is also kind of bad, which is something I probably, well, I'm gonna have to figure out how to work around that. Okay. We're getting a lot of these really good upgrades too. Uh, do we upgrade this shop? Yeah. Unfortunately, I wish green would drop off a little faster than it is. Oh wow, these suckers are tough too. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sell the Supreme Shotgun? Sure. I'm gonna need... Where are we at on the shotgun? I'm gonna need the banana rings first if I want to fit this. And then there's the shotguns. Alright, so far so good. I definitely would like the ability to banish things from my pool. Personally, I think it actually would make a lot of sense if once you've completed uh, the weapon up to level 3 and then sold it, it's banished forever. That would incentivize me to get all of the green tier upgrades really fast. But I can see that being busted in its own way. Uh, let's see, fire beam. Some of these I want, but not yet. We don't have enough space for it. Unless I sell something else, but I really don't want to do that. Okay, let's, let's actually start picking up some health here, as uh, I'm starting to get swarmed. And it's, it's starting to hurt. Okay, rocket launcher. It's not maxed yet. Another banana rang. Do we restock? I'll lock those and hope I hope we can get something slightly more useful. Okay, let's remember to pick up some of this DNA too. Cause I I think that's that's overall like how we get our meta progression, and we need a lot of that, if we can. We're still here for another three minutes too. Ouch. Okay. Let's see. That's shots pierced through targets. You know, I don't actually have that much shots, so let's sell penetration. And one of the banana rags. Hate to do it, but at least now we've maxed out the shotgun. And the rocket launcher is almost maxed. Okay, I'll take it. Feels like my damage is really low compared to how beefy these dudes are. Okay. Last level rocket launcher, perfect. Now do we want to start grabbing one of these? Electric shot or needle shotgun? Cool down two seconds, cool down one and a half. And then we also have the caliper rank. You know, on the, honestly, maybe we grab the caliper rank. There it is, soul eating. Restores one health for every enemy killed. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I'd like to get the rest of these, but I think we're going to want to wait until after we've boomeranged up. Okay, banana rank is at maximum. 
Oh, are these the only two? I was hoping we get something for food or AoE, but looks like not yet. Well, do we want to grab Fire Beam as well? Sure. If I remember it, it's kind of impressive. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. It's so interesting playing all these different bullet heavens and like how they react to... Uh, let's see how they react to react and like tackle the idea of making the hordes interesting to deal with. In this case, it's actually you are guaranteed to take damage. There's no way around that. It, all you all you can do is just hope to manage it better. Uh, let's just upgrade the shop. Sure. Let's see, homing in darkness, which tempting, but going to ignore it for now. Okay, health is health is not in as bad of a spot as it was earlier. Unfortunately, our pool is kind of full of gunk. It's a lot of stuff that I've already had. And so, oddly enough, I'm actually having a harder time getting what I need here. I was really hoping uh, after a certain level, these would drop off or like green upgrades would drop off pretty hard. Alas, that doesn't seem to be the case. And like, apart from rolling down, there's not much I can do about it. At least we have some level of healing, so it's not that bad yet. But attrition is going to kill me. There's the caliper rang. Yeah, do we upgrade this again? Sure. I don't know if that's maxed yet. I bet the meta progression actually does have some solutions for me. Do we want to grab that? Not really, no. Let's see, AoE enemies knock, enemies back. That is really good. The main problem is just we're not going to have enough slots for everything. So I can upgrade that even further if I want to. I don't know, I think I'll probably just keep saving for upgrades rather than going for rerolls. Ooh, I haven't seen those cabbage monsters before. They're new. Okay, do we see any DNA sitting on the screen? Maybe. There's a shop over here at the very least. But yeah, so I was playing like Nordic Ashes uh, the other day. And that is a bullet heaven very much dedicated to the idea of, you know, just playing keep away from your enemies. This is a bullet heaven dedicated to the idea of you can't, you cannot keep away from your enemies. It's just a matter of keeping your health up the entire time and not getting like fully surrounded. Well, eh, maybe not getting surrounded, but uh, not getting DPS down to nothing. Yeah, I gotta remember targeted actually matters here. Sort of. I'd like to grab that. I think we just... I don't think we have enough space yet. And I need three level three boomerangs, which I'm not sure if I have. Oh, I do actually have three boomerangs. Or, yeah. Because that's a boomerang, that's a boomerang, and this is also a boomerang. So I think we might actually be able to get this one. Two health for every enemy killed. Which isn't, like, amazingly good. But it's still better than nothing. Do we keep upgrading the shop? Yep. Because I think at this point, most of the things I need are high tier. Yeah, I was just hoping the green abilities would have gone away by this point. We, uh, most assuredly don't need them. And yeah, let's just grab as many gumballs as we possibly can. Most of these enemies have way more than 100 health, probably. Old snap, yeah. Unfortunately, I think also uh, I'm suffering a little bit from a lack of good things in my own like draw pool. Uh, as a result of, oh, I should have waited on that one. Eh. 
because I've only played like so many runs on this one, uh, we are hitting that that situation. Uh, what I want is a pool full of of like synergistic abilities, and currently my S rank pool is filled with gunk. Do we just start re-rolling down to buy some things? Maybe. The problem is I need the B. There it is. Okay, so we've now maxed out Death Beam, which is exactly what we want. I could get rid of the Assault Rifle at this point to go for Blast Wave just to see what that does for me. Let's start working on that. So I'll get rid of the Assault Rifle. at some point. Whenever things fill up. Right now it's kind of easy enough for me to just keep running. I guess part of it is the run's almost over? I was expecting to have gotten slammed, but we're actually fine? I don't know, do we just roll down and hope we can get a couple more caliper rangs? Because we only need, like, a smidge more, and then we're in a good spot. I'm just going to hope... Oh, it's the cabbages that are summoning the tomatoes. That explains a lot, is it? Are, no, they're just shooting at me. Okay, and then we've got the boss, who is probably this guy. Over here? I'm dying. There it is. Calipurang's maxed out. So now we have max soul eating and oh, melee. Deals more damage the closer they are. Bonus up to 30%. Three level abilities level two. Targeted AoE. I wonder if there's anything for passive. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Do we want to get rid of the assault rifle for knockback? I think I don't have that much AoE. I think it is mostly just the rocket launcher. Yeah. Okay, I think I already have some amount of knockback that I can sort of rely on here. Okay, there's my health back up to where it was. And the boss is not that bad. But he absolutely can take a good nibble out of me. Can I re- okay, I can rearrange things, because I think we do want to buy the needle shotgun over the assault rifle because I think it's better but I'm not sure should be at this point damage yeah it is better okay we just want to aim for this guy ow things hurt I don't know how long that shield buff lasts for. And stay away from the nibble man. My HP just kind of stay high. We're almost okay, because I can kind of manage those. Wait, are those just like stilt dudes? Just dudes with hella mecha legs? That's kind of impressive. Like, they're just regular dudes with, like, hella legs, and all they've got is just, like, a sick walk. Cool. All right. Beat the boss. Do we... What do we unlock? Hopefully a lot. Okay, so I've unlocked healthy fat. Ability is locked. Gain more experience points to grab it. I think I just unlocked it. Okay. Okay. So for now, get healthy fats. Each ability in your inventory tag food grants 200 health. 
better than a machine gun. A machine gun that shoots shurikens. Ooh. And blaster. Lasers. Okay, so I think that also unlocks ocular. Less health, but moves quicker. All homing projectiles pierce their first target. Well, that seems useful. However, we got some things we can afford. So, slime takes less damage when they drop below 10% health. That's good. Slime gains health when you upgrade a skill in your inventory. Oh, that's how I was gaining the max health. Slime trail damages and slightly slows enemies. Use more abilities at once, so that's just extra slots, I think. Damage enemies by moving over them. Fire nuggets of darkness. Shoot out of the slime anytime you pick up a bonus. Increases max health, which is really good. Three different... Oh. To get agility, three different level three abilities tag finance in your inventory at once. Okay, some armor. Three level one abilities tagged random. Three abilities tagged finance. Again. Oh, but you have to beat the run with finance. Four different passive abilities in your inventory at once. Some explosion bonuses you pick up deal more damage. I think that's the gumball. So more healing, which isn't a terrible idea. And these are cheap. So let's just get level at least level one in everything. Okay, then the next thing we should do, go back, take a look at our decks. So interestingly enough, uh, oh. It was saying that what, I didn't have enough, um, clear this out. How much do I actually have to have equipped? Interesting. This is enough. This is enough. This is not enough abilities. I wish I understood. Oh. I see. I need three level D abilities. Three level C, three level B. Okay. Well, we haven't done much of a summon build. So we want to do homing. We want to do random. And we want to do finance. At one, we can take homing out of the build for now. So let's do random and finance. If I can. I guess we could do food. Okay, because that's huge nuggets of darkness. And that's... That's a lot of abilities. Okay. Some creatures are stronger. I'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. We also have huge nuggets of darkness. I don't think we have enough random abilities. I think I only have two. Shoot. Yeah, this is the one problem with the builds that I'm going for here is I don't think we have enough of a great many things. To really get the build I'm going for or want to go for. So I think we're just gonna set this as our active deck for now. Do I want to switch anything out though as I've gotten maybe some new things? We can get the olive gun so let's get rid of this. Let, let's we've got an amount of food. Okay so I do need x amount of S tier as well. Okay, let's take a look at A tier. These are all targeted. We tried the boomerangs. They were okay. Get rid of the caliper rang in favor of the shuriken launcher. Do we want to get rid of the... Shotgun? Do I want to get rid of the rocket launcher? Because it could also do fire. Go kind of hard on food? Yeah, because I see an amount of fire moves that I could pick up, which could be interesting. 
these are all B rank. We're already going to have the gun and the targeted passives by this point. So yeah, let's let's use B tier for some of this. A tier. You know what? I'll get rid of electric shot. Okay. So I think this deck has more or less everything I could want. The one I consider is like Fiery Horizon, and I'm not even sure if we need that. Okay. So do we want to do Ocular? That's only good for piercing projectiles. Slow but hardy. It's fun to watch humans drop dead around you. And that's just an AOA. I think I'm going to stick to the default for now. And Pew Pew, Despot decided to send a bunch of shooter minions. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of an echo of the previous run. However, I think it'll be okay. I guess I should beeline for that first shot. These guys are tough enough that I'm going to have some trouble getting through them. Okay. Just buy Supreme Shotgun a couple of times. There we go. And now I actually do an amount of damage. Okay. Really? We can get the penetration right off the bat. I think I'll skip the Scythe Rang for now. Let's upgrade those. Get the pistol done. We'll skip random nails for now. I don't think we benefit from it too greatly. Wow. What? What luck? Okay, let's lock that. Yeah, we want to just grab all of these, even if I'm probably planning on replacing a number of them. Okay, let's grab as much of this DNA as we possibly can, too. Alright. So far, so good. Unfortunately, my pool is getting very, uh... Very stuffed right from the get-go. We gotta finish some of these guns or I'm just going to buy everything. And that's gonna cause some problems. Maybe. I'm really curious what the food perk gives me. Okay, not maxed yet. Shockingly. Because we've got some pretty decent perks for, for shot and targeted. The boomerang one was okay. Alright, now I have like three weapons on the cusp of upgrading themselves. And we get the multi-shot. I will say the 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 targeted bonus. The one that makes it so I end up shooting four projectiles. That one's really good. I will go out of my way probably to get that one. Every time, at least, that I'm I'm doing these runs. Okay, so that's our second level three. Oh, right, upgrade the shop over here. Do I grab the Scythe Rang? It's my only boomerang at the moment. I think I'll skip it, at least for now. It's not amazingly important. Oh! There's Sailor Moons. Oh, right, of course there are. Grab all of these. Okay, so this, each ability in your inventory tag food grants you 200 health. Unfortunately, that upgrade itself is not tagged food, which is a bit of a downer. Yeah, we need, like, one more ability tagged uh, finance to be unlocked. Oh, there's our next banana rang. Do we go piercing? I will. We might have too many things here. Or we just get all nails and it removes us from any level of decision making. Yes, yeah, so I think we want to leave the, uh, the diamond scoops. Grab 
that. I'd like to get the banana rang, but I don't think we have enough space yet. Let's just upgrade the shop and we don't get anything useful. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna sell the banana rang for now. My logic is mostly... We don't have space for it. Okay, watermelon is... Almost there. But I gotta level it a bit more. Yeah, this is what happens when you pick too many things to level up simultaneously. You kinda trap yourself. It's fine. Okay. Get that. Hey. I think I'm going to have to focus on getting the assault rifle up. We could just turn off the shots uh, and switch to something else. Because I'll admit that's probably one of my less useful weapons overall. It does like an okay amount of damage. I guess with the piercing it's pretty good. Go for the watermelon. Yeah, I'll just sell this. Because it's not even much of a downside, because we get a, a second assault rifle in the same slot. Or in a competing slot? I don't know. Okay. Uh, watermelon. Yeah, the pierce would be nice. So many of these things would be lovely. I'm also noticing we're getting the, the shooty lettuces immediately. I was not expecting them so soon. I guess this run's gone on long enough that they would start showing up, maybe. They were just kind of right at the ends previously. You know what? I'm just going to sell that. Wow, that did actually uh, tank my HP a little bit. It's not that it matters. Max HP is nice, but since the... Um, Let's see, since the... Whoa, that's a lot of... Is that just the, the cabbages blasting me from afar? It is. That's terrifying. Suckers actually hit, like, really hard. And there's shockingly little I can do about it. I guess I can roll down. That's the big one, isn't it? I have a silly amount of money. Let's see. Let's just upgrade the shop with what I've got. And then I think I'll just wait. Okay. Well, my health has taken a turn for the considerably better. We don't have as many of these as I was hoping I'd get, but that's okay. Level that up. What's this do now? 400 HP per food item. I have become the beef. Alright. Got some DNA over here. But yeah, this level is kind of massive. And it's full of shooty dudes that are difficult for me to get my my hands on. Oh, what's this one? Bonus health. Yeah, that's entirely fair. Do we want the needle shotgun while we're here? I think so. I'm just going to sell the Supreme Shotgun for it. Oh, which gives me enough. Perfect. But the one problem is we've got kind of longish cooldowns here. That's a bit of an issue. Everything is... Oh, right. That is straight up the... Um, the name of this run. 
the gimmick is I'm being inundated with enemies shooting at me. Do I keep restocking? The problem is, I need, like, a banana rang. Alright. That'll do. Yeah, I wonder if there are any builds that specifically give me a lot of perks against shooting enemies, deflections and whatnot. Probably not. That would be very powerful. I'm just gonna hang out here. We've got kind of a shield that comes and goes. Don't want to get the health back ups either. We want to just kind of chill. Yeah, now, that, now that all the cabbages are gone, this is actually a lot easier. There we go. Uh, it's... Yeah. I want to snag that. it is. Okay, it should be level 3 now. So this is the orbital meat. The Are they just like chicken wings? They are just chicken wings. I guess the orbital chicken wings are kind of worthless here comparatively. Cuz I like the idea of them, but since I'm not getting swarmed by a bunch of melee enemies, uh, they're not hitting as much. Whereas, like, prior runs, with a lot of really melee-focused enemies, I'd be getting... Um, I'd be getting swarmed, and they would just be ripping through enemies. So I'll probably get rid of them fairly quick. In favor of other better things. We're also just fighting way less. Like, there's a handful of enemies here, and unless they're stuck somewhere that I've missed... Yeah, there's not much for it. Alright. I don't like that pock pock noise. I think it's the nuggets, but I could be wrong. It's just kind of this, like, weird metronome in the back of my mind, and it's gonna drive me a little mad. Oh, I'll probably take the Flaming Nuggets out of the build, especially because food doesn't seem to be that good. And maybe that's just me being slightly biased here. Well, is it bias? I have no idea. But so far, it's felt like m most of the most of the food-based weapons are kind of fun. But that perk, just giving like a flat amount of HP, but only a little bit, is just like, eh. I get way more max HP just out of the maxing out skills than I do out of that food upgrade. Unless that food upgrade is scaling way better than I think it is. I'm only level 27. Go figure, I'm having some trouble here. Well... I don't know if it's trouble exactly. There we go. That does not do enough damage to them. It does mean I'm taking considerably less damage this run, though. Mostly? It's not as constant, but there's less power-ups, so it's kind of the trade-off. I've already done a ton of damage to the boss, and I don't even know... Oh, there he is. Let's just focus fire him with our infinite watermelons. He is dead. Well, that was easy. So some kind of booster pack. Dark side. Light refracts into a beam and melts human faces. Fun. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's too much for me to afford here.
Yeah, can you increase my max health, which isn't a terrible idea. Four abilities with passive. So I might actually want to keep an eye out for that. Let's go for extra health restoration, because baseline, that's always going to be useful. Um, Jeez, I, I think we just keep pushing these levels. Forest of Daggers. So it seems to be um very melee focused. So maybe we want to go back to, we want to take a look at, a, at Dex, see if there's anything I can do. Let's just clear it. Let's see, lasers. This one targets a single enemy. No piercing, though. Hmm. Because we, I don't think we have enough finance. Is there a way I can actually sort, like, search? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, maybe I go area of effects. Darkness laser. I could do the eyeball, we just don't have a whole lot of homing. I don't think we have enough finance. But I'll grab the Supreme Shotgun. We're not doing summons here. I guess we could go for the boomerang bonus. And we want targeted things. But I think we already have plenty. Yeah, this was huge, but I still don't think it was that amazing. I don't know if the banana rings were really that amazing. And fine, I'll grab... Oh, Nuggets of Darkness are different from all rounds defense. They're slightly different. Okay, so now we just need S rank. Go with that. I don't know if it's perfect, but deck one sounds slightly more interesting. Slime menu, deck one. Uh, let's go flashy. Because flashy has a ton of HP. If I'm doing force of daggers, I guess my max HP is not that good. But whatever. Uh, let's see. Do we want to just... Sure. Grab both of those. I just want to see what the different perks are. We know that the targeted buff is amazing. Let's see. Watermelon launcher right up? Really? Do I want to go for the Supreme Shotgun? You know what? Not hugely. Not yet. Yeah, I'm not so sure that it's going with this specific build is going to be worth it. Oh, this is a short run, too. I just realized. It's, it's very short. Okay, do we want to get the targeted level one? Sure. Oh yeah, because it's gonna give us more even more lasers. Yeah, I'll take I'll take those. Let's see, where is it? I don't think I'm gonna go for this starting slime in the future. The the lack of speed is actually kind of painful. It's not that bad, but I'd actually like to be able to cruise here. Oh. Have I been ignoring that this entire time? I don't know when it hit zero. We've just mostly been inundated with abilities that are actually useful for me. I don't know, do we just lock both of these? Sure. Might as well max them out. I was expecting laser to almost have kind of its own category. Maybe? Piercing? Eh, maybe not. Okay. 
And I like the melee enemies because they are uh, very committed to hugging me. Okay, let's keep going for the AoE. Let's lock that one. Might as well get all of them. Wait. Oh, this is the this is the laser. The rainbow one's the dark side of the moon. Okay. I don't quite have enough space for all of this. Okay, I'm gonna unlock that regular laser. I don't... I'll pick it up, or I'll max it out if I have to, but in retrospect, it's not as good as I'd like it to be. Whereas the dark side of the moon looking one is, I don't want to say a little bit more reliable. Ooh, I was not supposed to pick up that health upgrade. It's fine. Uh, I think dark side has piercing. No, targeted in darkness. Okay. I'm going to sell the, I'm just going to sell the lasers. I don't think we're picking them today. I think I'll wait. Much as I'd like to pick up those other ones, uh, I'm sure we'll get our chance. Okay. Let's move that there. Do we get anything else? No. I'll just keep chilling. Oh, we've got we've got two of the dark side lasers, so it's like, why are we firing multiple? Is that a new perk? And the answer is no. Yeah, so I think going for targeted over gun is probably the call. Gun has a bunch of nice piercing. Well, I don't know, actually. I guess it's kind of a trade-off. Okay, AoE's up. Next level boomerang, and I can't afford more, but it's fine. I guess I can't really scale my area of effects at all, can I? Scythe Ring is probably slightly better. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about the whole melee uh, gun versus targeted. Targeted seems more impressive. I think the main thing is I feel like I'm going to need big lasers. Also, I think my my lack of speed was a terrible choice. I was like, well, I'll have extra HP. I'll be able to just tank all of these guys. And the answer is they're ripping through me really fast. And there's very little I can do about that. So, oh, you know what? Here's the thing. I think I should have actually just gone for dark, uh, for gun anyway, because you can get a lot of guns early. Okay, so we've got some creepy crawly dude. Well, I am not hurting much. I think part of it is my lasers and other abilities are um, actually pretty low damage. Oh, that's fine. At least the run is short. Yeah, how much damage does it do? Okay, now it does 18. That's better. Oh, I'm out of juice. And he's, he's just hucking his minions at me. And I'm dead. That's fine. Let's see if I max this out at the very least. We get targeted bonus. Is really good. Okay, so let's go back to deck two, but let's edit that a little, because we just got our hands on. That's... What? 
That's incredibly good. Okay. So, targeted ability bonus. The other one I might want to might want to consider, how many passives do we have? 1 2 potentially 3. Yeah, I think I'll wait. I'll work on unlocking some of the some of the meta progression at a later date. Oh shoot. We want to play, but we we don't want to be flashy. We want to be default. Flashy is too slow for what I'm doing. I love the little, like, slime trail animation. But yeah, I'm going to be taking way less damage as I can actually outspeed some of these guys. It is all gun. It's lock. There we go. Let's see, increase it increases targeted ability damage. Get them all. Okay, so now all of my targeted abilities do 50% extra damage, which is very strong. Oh, right. Shouldn't grab too much health. And I think we have a shop all the way up north that I should be heading for. That's an absurdly good passive. Wow. I mean, I guess it makes sense why it would be so far down the list. Part of me was just kind of like, man, why didn't they give this to me sooner? And the answer is, you know, honestly, ki kind of obvious. Of course they don't want to give it to me earlier. It would trivialize a considerable por portion of this game's difficulty. Why do they put the shop so far away to punish you? Upgrade the shop. Okay, so we've got. Oh, we haven't even we haven't even maxed out our our damage booster. Okay, get the money upgrade. I think we want to just lock these. I think we want to max them all out. Like, I'd like to go for that watermelon. You're doing 70 damage. What happened? I mean, I know what happened. Okay, that should be... Should be the basic gun maxed out, which... Now... Is that doing 300 damage? What? Yeah, now what we need is the targeted, uh, the targeted bonus. Let's see. Yeah, the targeted bonus, so I'm firing in multiple directions and a little bit of piercing, and we are going to be, uh, made. I'll grab both of those, leave that locked. We're gonna move one of these over here. Okay, a little bit of piercing is going to go a long way here. Okay, that gun's done. Now I've got the machine gun on top of everything. So now we've got both the gun bonus and the targeted bonus. We're not going to be able to max them out here, most likely. be able to get a decent amount of it. So how much is that? 180%. I think we actually took a bit of a damage nerf merging, merging it down, but we want that space. Just keep locking these. Gosh, even the machine gun just got really strong. Oh, other builds are going to have some trouble keeping up with this.
Okay. Grab the machine gun. Yeah. They care about the boomerang or the food? Nah. At least not enough to lock it yet. And we might want to see if I can get the boomerang bonus. Upgrade the shop. Fortunately, need like two or three of them, may maybe. Okay, I don't think we need all-round defense. We definitely want the assault rifle. One problem is limited inventory space for a moment. I think I'll be okay. I think I'm gonna wait. Because we want to max this out first. Keep working on the assault rifle. Unfortunately, I'm going to need a lot of assault rifle. We might not have enough time on this run to get all that I want here. Okay, I have just enough space. So yeah, keep working on those boomerangs. Boomerang, not the banana rang? Yeah. We'll lock that. We're gonna, gonna max this out. We might not have enough boomerangs here. But that's okay. We'll have maxed out quite a number of my abilities. I'll be pretty decently tanky. And my damage is good, so I should be able to just cut through the boss in no time. And do I buy, buy the watermelons? I don't know. Hard sell. I take it as a sign. But I don't want them. I think I'm actually even lower level than last time. No, I don't know. I don't. I like short runs in in roguelikes and bullet heavens and whatnot. This might be too short. So there's the boss. And normally the boss, this boss is kind of worrying because he's shoving enemies into me. Here he's just kind of a two-bit chump that I get to. Rudy Tooty gun and shooty to death. There we go. Unfortunately, yeah, it was a short run. We didn't get anything cool. Uh, let's see. Well, do we keep with that run? Go to the next one? To spot is changing tactics. No more useless hordes. Only champions. What? What? I don't even have a starter shop. Uh, okay. I might, like, have to go back to an earlier difficulty just to have a chance here. I can't even level up. 98 damage right from the get-go. What the hell? I don't know how much HP he has. Oh, I killed something. Okay. And I don't get any power-ups for this either. 498? What am I supposed to do about that? Why? Why would you make this level? <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, 
and I have to be level 7 for that one. And there's no, like, regular infinite mode. Well, I guess we just... Do we just go back to Thorny for rounds? Yeah. Because at least this run lasts for 10 minutes, and, um... Let's me build up to something. That one was... I think I'm going to call that one a cruel joke more than anything else. Whereas this one, I feel like we might actually be able to... Well, I know for this one we can actually get a decent amount of experience, resources, so on and so forth, and actually have a proper run. I like the level system. I think it's an interesting way of handling uh, progression where it's kind of a series of challenge runs instead. The main beef that I would have is that I'd rather there just be like a totally regular normal run and then a uh, like a totally regular normal run and then a like here do a challenge for like achievements to unlock more meta progression or something. I think I'm gonna skip the assault rifle for a moment just because spreading myself too thin usually forces me to sell down and that's not great. Uh, do we want to grab the penetration? Sure. Let's roll this down. Have a nice little money shotgun. Oh, I should have grabbed that one. Yeah, I bet sufficient meta progression probably makes that that one level easier. But, uh, oh boy. It's gonna be some work to get up to that. Gonna lock the aura. It is wild that the, uh, the bonus damage really does make a massive difference in the, in the pistol. Okay, should be able to max out the pistol here. Yep. Yeah, 243 damage just flat per shot. Give that some pierce and then also the um, the mass targeting bonus and it becomes very strong. Okay, let's grab the DNA. I'm trying to avoid most of these... most of these power-ups if I can avoid it. Pop that down. Okay, so we're... We have a lot of space all of a sudden. I should probably clear it. Keep blocking that. Yeah. But at least I get to be extremely discerning with my weapon choices here. Last couple, last couple runs? Uh, usually when I play this, there's kind of that feeling of like... Uh, I guess I just have to take whatever the higher tier weapons are. And now it's just like, oh no, that green gun is actually like really good. And is 100% worth adding to my mix just for the sake of it. I'll probably get rid of the watermelon gun at some point. Okay. Just because I'm not using them that much. Though I could see an AoE build having a lot of dividends. I think we just... Yeah, the, the problem is so many of the cool builds are locked behind an unlock system that you have to sink, like, a fair amount of time into. Uh, yeah. My next shop upgrade is going to be free. And considering both the uh, the Scytherangs and the Assault Rifle are things I wanted to buy, it's better to max those out first, than leave it for later. Because the shop upgrade only gets cheaper over time. As I just want more runs like this, the, the champion only one is funny, but not really what I'm going for. Okay, upgrade the shop. Lock these two. Grab them all. Alright. So I need... Ooh. 
I need one more Scythe Rang to max that out, actually. So that's that isn't too bad. I was like, oh, shoot. We might actually kind of have too much now. And the answer is, no, nah, we're fine. I need piercing. I'll grab it. I think we'll just wait. No point rolling down when I don't have enough money to afford everything. At least we can always go back to this level kind of whenever we need to. Is there anything that I get rid of here? No. I think we buy the scythe, and then we work on finishing off the assault rifle. Is the scythe targeted? It is targeted. All of my weapons currently are targeted. That's a good sign. Okay, so now all I need is this one assault rifle and one piercing, and we'll max both of those out. And then, yeah, I think we'll just slowly scale up and, and replace all of our low-tier targeteds with higher-tier ones. I think I'd like to get the uh, the banana rang buff after all, or the banana banana rang, the boomerang buff specifically, the one where you heal a little bit. I guess the watermelon launcher is targeted, but no, we're just gonna roll down. It's not that amazing because I think we've already got yeah, we've already got the targeted buff, and I, if we don't have the shot buff already, no, we do. I might just save my money for a while and just go kind of hard on maxing the shop out, see if I can get access to the needle shotgun and whatnot. Oh, there's the banana rang. Yeah, there's the other option of trying to stack a bunch of passives. Might not be a bad idea, but like I'm not trying to unlock cards here. Uh, I almost wonder if the game... Uh, Hmm. I'm trying to think of... Could you possibly retool this to act more like a CCG where you have a limited amount of cards? Like, I almost wonder if it would be slightly more compelling if, if you had a limited amount of cards, but you could find rarer ones early. Maybe. <sighs> I don't know. I've been playing a lot of different CCGs lately. Um, I guess it started because one of our one of our friends, uh, our like only local friend that we hang out with, because yeah, I still don't want to mess with COVID, uh, and she's like an extreme germaphobe like I am. I, I don't know if I'm gonna call myself an extreme germaphobe per se, but I just don't want to mess with COVID. Um, but so the two, uh, Shell, myself, and her are all pretty good about staying, well, very good at staying away from people, um, you know, masking up and whatnot, but so we kind of have our own, like, private little board game nights, routinely, and so as part of this, uh, this, this friend of ours is very much like a big Disney, uh, Disney fan, uh, and is, like, super into I mean, pretty much everything, uh, Disney related, all of, uh, I think she was, like, really big into Dreamlight Valley, uh, we just got big into Lorcana, and so we've been kind of sucked into that, which can't complain about. It's actually pretty fun. Um, but so one of my like pipe dreams at some point is to actually start making games myself. Uh, and so playing Lorcana is like, actually, I could almost make some kind of boardy card game stuff. I don't entirely know what that would entail, and like, I know it's gonna be a lot of work, um, but I've been slowly collecting extra board card games as kind of like a, hey, you know, let's try a bunch of different variants of this same kind of game and see how they play, you know, what works, what doesn't. Um, and like all of their different mechanics and there's the olive gun. Still waiting on boomerangs. 
Might as well grab the banana rang. Hold it. We're there. I think I'm going to get rid of the pistol. Okay. Lock for the shuriken launcher. We got slots for that. How much time do we have left? Tons of time. I'm only level 33, huh? I don't want to get rid of the money gun necessarily. But we're getting rid of the money gun. Because at this point, I'm getting too many things that actually are kind of worth funding for. Okay. Max that out. We don't care about most of these. Do we upgrade the shop? Absolutely. I think we start rolling down a smidge. The problem is I need exactly one banana rank. There it is. That gives us some space. So now we get to see the olive launcher in play. Oh, did I take out the boomerang wrench? I sincerely hope I didn't, but I probably did. I haven't seen it go by. Oh well. Uh, but so, yeah, as part of this, we've picked up... What, is, what have we picked up? We've got some magic cards, but we already kind of had some magic cards. Uh, the Digimon card game, obviously Lorcana, since I was talking about that earlier. Uh, the, the, the Battle Spirit Saga, which is mostly okay. It has some neat ideas. The execution was kind of eh. Uh, but I'm sure I just need to get more cards to make it actually worth playing. Yeah, I get the distinct feeling I have removed uh, the one boomerang I needed from the pool to get that healing perk. And maybe that's fine. Because I don't think I actually need it that bad. Okay. This one's a bit tough. Well, here's the question. 10 seconds, 9. 5 seconds, 30. Do I want to just sell the assault rifle at this point? I think so. Oh, there was an olive... And I just rolled past it because I wasn't... I didn't have enough space. You know what? I should probably upgrade the... Well, never mind. I was going to say I should upgrade the shop more than anything else. Man, I was expecting with all these gun upgrades and whatnot, I'd be cruising through these guys. I'm not yet. I mean, I'm definitely wrecking them a lot harder than the last time I was here, but it's not as big as I thought it would be. Block the olive. Let's keep going. But so as part of this, I'm, I'm thinking like super deep about card games. Olives. Um... That's piercing. Boomerang. Do we actually get rid of penetration at this point? I think we do. Let's just lock the olive gun. Because we already have native three piercing. Getting some more piercing wouldn't be the worst idea, but I think it's standing in the way of me getting the really good abilities and I might be able to reacquire it. Okay, so yeah, that piercing gun is maxed. This is a silly run. I almost wonder if uh, the reason why I'm constantly getting swarmed here, even though I'm killing them faster, I bet it just has a quota for how many enemies need to be on screen at once. That's my bet. Well, do we want to go for Fire Beam? It is targeted. Because, yeah, Nuggets of Darkness is not a targeted upgrade. So, yeah, I think that's exactly it. But so because this is kind of deck builder, I was I was trying to think of like kind of reward systems. It's a little unsatisfying that you unlock cards on a leveling basis because that almost just puts it behind a grind wall. I actually prefer systems where your your 
unlocking things based on achievements more. Uh, which I guess they're doing kind of for meta progression here. Ah, uh, it's because I have three shuriken setups. They all more or less trigger off of each other. Holy smokes, the olives, too. I was originally like, I don't know, are the olives going to be worth it? And the answer is yes. I think I got to roll down. We're looking for one shuriken here. I guess we could just upgrade the shop for now. Call that good enough. There's some DNA up here. I want it through the cloud of health upgrades. Oh, it's just dudes in test tubes. You'd think after playing this for, what, three episodes worth? I would have noticed that the health pickups were just dudes in tubes. I had not. All right, there we go. But max out the shirt, maxes out the shuriken, another level of fire beam, more olive. So now it's just fire beams and olives, I think, are going to be our, our go-tos. I like the passive system. I, uh, I'll have to look up to see like what some of the other passives are, because I bet there's some really busted ones that I'm ignoring in favor of just having a uh, very refined build. Because, yeah, this, this build is extremely focused on one thing and one thing only. Which is targeted shots absolutely just crushing through enemies. I should check with the um, shot upgrade. If that actually... Applies to the olives. Yeah. Are you? It is a shot. Okay, so the piercing does apply. Well, I don't think I have enough more. Oh, they're olive, though. And that, but I think the boss is toast. Oh, gosh. Dude was actually legitimately a little scary the last time I was here. Not so today, Munch Beast. Alright, so we level up at least, and what do we get? Grenade Launcher, S rank. I mean, it's good. My main problem is that there's a lot of builds that need very specific cards to work, uh, just so I can unlock some of these things. Uh, like, I literally don't have enough level 1 abilities tagged random to get life experience or sale. Like, we don't have enough for finance either. We might have enough for passive, but, uh, yeah, some of these, some of these feel like they need more. More abilities at once. That's actually, yeah, sure. There's only one more. Oh, and we can actually see what type it is. So, so coin launcher is finance. Yeah, earn more experience to get this one. But coin launcher is shot targeted and finance. And that would give us enough. Um, homing loogie. Yeah, so we kind of need both of these if I want to get either the homing or the or the random unlocks. There's some more finance. I, I guess the point is, yeah, you're just supposed to keep playing over and over and over again, and that's... I mean, that is the fun of these games, but it feels like it needs way more abilities, and probably just a regular run uh, rather than this. I think maybe it's just that the, uh, the boss fights are too... Uh, or th this specific round is is maybe too focused and brutal, but maybe the point is if you can overcome it, it's actually quite easy. Uh, or once you get the right build in place, it's quite easy. Question mark. Maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. For now, though, uh, I guess I might as well mention that uh, Slime Three K is available on Steam. So if you want to play this yourselves, it's uh, I think it's yeah, it's only five bucks, which is pretty solid. Um, and it's been getting regular updates too. The passive change, uh, while I didn't exactly use it as much as I would have liked, uh, adds a nice level of dimension to the game and some fun ways of, of combining perks together. And also just being able to fire projectiles in four, four different directions is pretty wild. Anyway, 
With all that said, if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because i got tons to check out and show off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.